Hi friends, I hope this message finds you enjoying time with the Lord and the special ones in your lives. I miss our regular fellowship and seeing your smiling faces, but I'm thanking God for technology, even though I'm not very good at it. Oftentimes when I'm in the Word, I am easily distracted. Thankfully, the Lord has slowed me down this week and has spoken to me. My life verse is Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. The Lord has reminded me that he's in control of all things. Even before I acknowledged him as my Lord and Savior, he was watching over my life. So just as a reminder, he is in control, he is on the throne, and the only way we will find peace is through him. As Pastor Rob reminded us this weekend, be still and know that I am God. We serve a sovereign Lord. He is the perfect creator and the Lord of all creation, which includes you and I. So I would encourage you to relinquish control. We do not know what the future holds for our economy or for the coronavirus, but we do know who holds the future. Psalm 2.12 tells us, Blessed are all those who put their trust in God. What a promise. We just need to trust him and we will be blessed, not stressed. The Psalms have been speaking to me a lot this week, so I'd like to read you a few verses from Psalm 18. The first ones are verses 16 through 19. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He also brought me out into a broad place, and he delivered me because he delighted in me. This part of scripture is a prophetic um, place where Jesus is triumphing over the tomb but also we triumph because of Jesus in our lives and he delights in us. What a blessing that is. And then also in verses uh, 28 through 31, for you will light my lamp. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by you I can run against a troop and by my God I can leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect and the word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all those who trust in him. For who is God except the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? Lord, I trust in you. You are my rock. So friends, I would encourage you to run to the arms of Jesus. He desires to be in fellowship with you. Even when it doesn't feel like his working, our God works the night shift, the day shift, and the 3 to 11 shift. Praying for you that you would not let the enemy rob you of your joy. My prayer is that you hear and receive the still, small voice of God. God bless you. See you soon.